is the Ghost Guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and become a member of the Sky Squad. If you are already subscribed, be sure to turn on those notifications by clicking that little bell button next to the subscribe button. After you have turned on notifications, comment done down below and I'll try to like or reply to your comment. I also posted two new videos on my vlog channel. One was a whole vlog of me driving cross country from California all the way to Florida. And the other one was me addressing everyone's question, where did my bird go, my rescued sparrow, where is she now, what happened to her? So if you want to check that out, I'll have a link in the description down below as well as a couple cards up here where you can click on. So today we are going to be testing one and two ingredient slimes and I'm also going to be experimenting with my own type of slimes. So let's just start. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to do this. Okay. So the first slime we're going to be testing out is with gel, toothpaste, and glue. Can this combined make slime? Let's find out. Gel, toothpaste, and some glue. I'm not sure how much glue to add. I'll just do that one. Oh my god, it's already turning into slime. Dude. Whoa, that is crazy. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit more of glue. That is so cool. Honestly, I didn't think this one was gonna work. Maybe you need to knead it a little bit. Okay, I'm going to knead it. It is so toothpaste -y. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's getting better as I knead it. It's still a little sticky. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more glue. I need a napkin. Oh my gosh, it makes your fingers tingle because of the toothpaste. Okay, a little bit more glue. All right, so it is a little bit sticky, but that is definitely slime. That is super cool. So I would say that this does work. So now I'm going to try the one ingredient toothpaste slime where you just pour a bunch of toothpaste inside of your container and you microwave it for 30 second intervals. All right, 30 second intervals. Let's let's try this out. I'm a little bit skeptical, but let's try it. I hear popping. Oh my God, it's on fire. Just kidding. I just got the best whiff of mint straight up in my nose. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far after two 30 second intervals. I think we need to do maybe two more. Woo, it's so minty. Okay, so, whoa. This is after four 30 second intervals. So it has been in the microwave for about two minutes. I don't want to touch this toothpaste slime because in my last video I got burned and I cut myself and I was bleeding everywhere. You can check that video out right here. I'll leave a little card. Also, I'll have it in the description down below. That video was wild. So yeah, this toothpaste slime is too hot to touch right now. And it's basically like roasted toothpaste. Ow, it hurts. So I'm just going to put this onto a napkin, let it cool down, and we're going to move on to our next slime while it's cooling. So now we're going to try a two ingredient slime that is body wash and salt. Oh that smells so good. Body wash and ziggity salt. Alright I think I'm starting to see a slight change. I think I need to add more salt. Which I'm going to add a lot this time. All right, so I think I can conclude this too. I have the wrong type of body wash. It's not jelly enough. So luckily, Jay just bought some Axe body wash. So I'm gonna try that. Let's try a different body wash. Pew, pew. Axe body wash. This already looks a little bit more jelly-like. So hopefully, this will work better. Nothing is happening for me whatsoever. It's just like goopy. So I'm going to rule out, for me in particular, the body wash that I used did not work. Maybe some body washes will work, but the ones in particular, the dial and the axe, does not work. So now we're going to revisit our toothpaste slime, and I feel personally it's more like a clay slime. It's not so much like a gooey slime. It looks very doughy, and it's actually, it's nice because it's a little bit warm. It's still fun to play with though, and it did, you know, it does hold its texture. It smells too minty. Can you brush your teeth with it? <laughs> you probably could brush your teeth with it. <laughs> so now we're going to try sugar and glue for a DIY fluffy slime. Pour my glue in there first. All right, pour some sugar. Oh no! That was too much sugar. Maybe, maybe that'll be the perfect amount, who knows. 
Okay, let's mix this up. You know what? That might have been the perfect amount. Ooh, it's actually sliming up, guys. Oh my god, it's actually working. You guys see that? It's working. Oh my lord. I did not think that was gonna work. Look at how slimy that is. Okay, so now I'm just going to try and knead it with my hands. It almost looks like a little bit pearlescent from the sugar. It is a little sticky. I wonder if we add a little bit more sugar into it, if it'll help. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more sugar. That is if I can get it off of my hands. Oh my god. Oh my I added a lot of sugar there. Okay, so with the kneading, it got a little bit less sticky. It's still a little bit sticky, but nonetheless, it freaking worked. And that is so cool. The sugar slime, I think, is my favorite slime that I've made in this video so far. All right. It smells like glue, though. It really doesn't smell like sugar. <laughs> so now we are going to try glue and cornstarch. This is baby powder cornstarch, but it's still cornstarch. So pour the glue in, mm -hmm. add the cornstarch. Very powdery. Cornstarch is getting everywhere. All right, I think something's happening. I'm getting dusted over here with all this cornstarch. This is not working at all. <laughs> Ugh. All right, I'm going to say that this did not work. Okay, so this is the experiment portion of the video where I'm going to experiment with random things and try to make slime. I'm sure some people have tried some of these recipes before. I've never personally seen them or tried them. So this is gonna be me experimenting. So the first thing we're going to be experimenting with is I have this jelly hair gel. So jelly. And I'm going to mix that with glue and something else. Some glue and let me mix that up. So for the activator, I'm going to use this contact solution. Oh my god! Alright, so we are just adding more and more stuff. I'm trying to make clear glass slime and um, with hair gel. What am I doing wrong? It's not working. So I'm trying my hardest. I feel like we're missing like one ingredient. So I'm gonna try and put maybe some, some of this baby oil gel. Don't ask me why, I don't know. All right, next experiment because this one's not working. I don't know how to make glue slime. Guys, so something weird happened when I was rinsing out my bowl and I added dish soap, it started to turn slimy. So I'm gonna try adding dish soap and maybe that'll help it turn into slime a little bit better. It's turning slimy. Okay, so it turned out a lot more slime-like. Then I added salt and I kind of ruined it, but it wasn't a complete fail. Okay, so now we're going to try and make Nutella. Slime. So funny story, there actually was no Nutella at my Walmart. It was literally empty on the shelf. The Nutella spot was empty. Here's a picture. Why? Jay's like, do any other YouTubers like live live in this town? Like, so I had to get great value um, hazelnut spread, which I'm sure is still delicious. Okay, I literally cannot stop eating this. I'm sorry. It's so good. Like, okay, so we are going to be putting some Nutella into our bowl. What a waste of this beautiful, beautiful Nutella. Oh my God, hold on. It is so good. Huh. Hide this for me please before I gain 3,000 pounds. And now I'm going to put baby powder cornstarch in it and see if we can make some sort of clay slime. Yum, yum. I just wanna eat this Nutella still, even though it's covered in baby powder, it still looks good. All right, it is indeed turning into clay slime. So here is my Nutella clay slime, and honestly, it does kinda look like something else. Let's not talk about that. And it's very crumbly, so I wouldn't recommend doing this near any pets, especially my dog Franklin, because he eats anything off the ground, including Thick. So yeah, it worked though. Dare me to eat it? Just kidding. I mean, I guess you could eat it if it's just cornstarch. So here are all of my slimes in order of creation. Beautiful, very beautiful. My favorite one is still the sugar slime. Oh my God. Nicole, did you get nails on? Yes. I had to put nails on for the thumbnail. You know, the thumbnail problems. Someone tell me why my armpit looks green. <laughs> uh, Life hack.
back how to turn your armpit green so I hope you enjoyed this video of me testing out how to make a bunch of different kind of slimes using no borax oh my gosh this was actually kind of hard and very surprising give this video a like if you would like to see more slime on my channel and today's shout outs go to Joanna on Instagram and Jayla on Twitter Jayla just got engaged today congratulations girl I love you guys so much hope to see you in my next video bye